Honey, ho guys and girls, welcome back. And today we're talking about what you can expect for spring Black Friday this year. The sales ads have not dropped yet, but as soon as we get them, whether they're leaked or posted, or otherwise we will have them up and for you to review and we'll talk all about it. But what I, I want to get set an expectation for what's to come, what you can expect that's going to be on sale. And we're going to take a look back to see what's been on sale and what, what kind of pricing we saw on that. So let's jump into it because it is around the corner. First thing, of course, that we're going to see is we're going to see a lot of outdoor power equipment, whether it's Ryobi or Hart, all the other ones are going to see a ton of it because it's, you know, spring is the time to get that yard back in order. Uh, we're going to see a lot of annuals, a lot of flowers, planting, that kind of stuff. Of course, mulch and uh, shrubs and all sorts of stuff like that. Also, don't forget that if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any of these big stores, they have a one year, sometimes two year warranty on all your plants. So if you buy a plant, you buy a tree, they can get pricey and it dies. Take it back. I had no idea until a couple of years ago. Oh my gosh, the money I would have saved if I'd known that. All right. Also barbecues, barbecues, barbecues. We've seen gas grills. We you know pellet grills are all the rage, but I'll tell you what, after the national hardware show, if you're not careful, you're going to get flooded with pizza ovens. Pizza ovens were everywhere. They were indoors. They were outdoors. They were delicious. <laughs> so many good pizzas. But my favorite pizza oven is a company that just launched and they're trying to find distribution. So we're going to cover it. We'll find out where they land. And that is Revolve Pizza Ovens. Now that's the big thing because pizza ovens like this have been out for a while, but Re Revolve uh, and all the other ones now, they're all doing it too. They're all having revolving pizza stones. So no more sticking the pizza in and then pulling it out and spinning it, and putting it back in and back and forth, back and forth and overcooking one side. The stone inside revolves. Anyway, you get it. Uh, and great people over there. Hopefully we'll show you some, some more on that coming up soon. All right, outdoor patio furniture, lawn furniture, whatever you want to call it. There's a ton of it, and it's all getting better, and it's getting less expensive. Not a ton, but it's getting less expensive, all right? The other thing you're going to see is home automation and security. Tons and tons. Home automation tech is huge. Home security is huge. And now all the big box stores are carrying it. They've got their own brands, everything else. They're, you're going to see just flooded market for home automation and security. The other thing, of course, we're going to see power tools, power tools, power tools, power tools. Not as much as we see on Black Friday. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but we're going to see it now. And we're going to see a little bit more again on, you know, dads and grads, you know, right, right as summer kicks off. But we're going to see a good amount of savings. And we're going to talk about what kind of savings you can expect coming up. And appliances. Oh, my gosh. This is the time for appliances. Black Friday and spring Black Friday. They go back and forth with the best time to get appliances. We're going to talk about that too. Now let's jump over. Let's look at Home Depot, their spring Black Friday, what we've can, what we seen in the past. Now before we jump into it, I want to thank today's sponsor, and that is Brooklyn Bedding. If you don't know who Brooklyn Bedding is, you should. They're made in America, made in Arizona. In fact, if you've been around the channel, you've seen us talking about RV mattresses, the mattresses we use in our RV and stuff. Same company. Well, this is the parent company to RV Mattress, and they got a lot of great stuff. Thing here that I want to talk about is this build tech, because for you know back in my day when I was younger, everything was coil, right? And that that was just the way it was. And then the memory foam came out, and they had these huge giant sponge mattresses. Never tried to convince themselves these were fabulous. They were hot. They were hard to get out of. They had no edge support. They weren't great. They were better than coil, but they weren't great. And then finally light bulb went off. They said, why don't we do both? And all of these mattresses use this, this hybrid technology of uh, individual coils with memory foam and other foams kind of built in. And currently they have six styles of mattresses that they're selling. We have the basic one, the signature hybrid, which is excellent. The Aurora Lux, which you've seen here on the channel, at least the RV version of it. The Sedona, which is their luxury motel style of mattress. We've got the Plank Firm. If you're looking for a firm mattress, especially those of you who might have back issues, uh, we'll skip the tight one, come back to that one. The Spartan, for those of you who are athletic, it's got like copper weave into it, some other tech that's really cool. If you're like in the trades, you come home exhausted, that might be the one you might want to consider. But if you're a bigger bear like me, I want to talk about the Titan because the Titan is the one made for the grizzly size folks in the family. That's right. And we've got the Titan Plus Lux. Now I have it here, selected like the queen because that's the biggest one we can get in our home. Maybe you'll step up to the king. And you see 25% off because if you use code DENATOOLS, I have links to everything down below as well as the coupon code. 
That's now that they've upped it. it. Used to be twenty percent off for dentals. It's now twenty five percent off. So that is equivalent to their best sale prices that they have any time throughout the year. So basically, as long as you use our coupon code, it's always on sale. So what you're looking at here is and the option there to add the Glacio Tech cooling, which I got to tell you, if you're a hot sleeper like I am, the wife's like, stay away from me. That is, you got to get it. It's, it's fabulous. Anyway, this is purposely built. As I said, they use that hybrid tech with the coils and with the foam. Well, you use their Titan caliber foam, uh, not foam, but uh, coils for the, the steel coils there to give you that firm support that you need. I like to look for them in a medium, uh, medium firmness. Now, the reason for that is if you sleep on your back or on your front, you want something that's a little bit firmer. If you sleep only on your, uh, your side, you want a soft one because that will contour to your body. But if you're like me and you sleep like a rotisserie chicken all night, constantly turning and stuff, you want to go with a medium firmness. Again, don't forget the coupon code. We have it linked down below. On top of that, remember, it's made in America, made in Arizona. It comes with a 10-year warranty, 120-night comfort trial. Again, we'll have links. You can go to the website. You can check out all the, the, the small print on that kind of stuff. Be sure you're, you're, you're getting what you get. Uh, anyway, thanks again to uh, to Brooklyn Betting for supporting the channel. If you are looking for a mattress, be sure to check them out. You know, they're supporting the channel. We should support them. Anyway, let's get back to it. Home Depot, we're looking at the six. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's when the sales can land. Home Depot likes to launch their sales on Thursdays, all right? They're a little secret nugget there for you if you haven't seen my, my videos on that. So the first Thursday in uh, April is the 6th because we're looking at the first week of April. That's usually when these land. Now, this is last year's sale flyer, okay? So these prices are last year prices. Pre, you know, there was some inflation in there, but not as bad. So I think that we're going to see very similar sale prices because we think we're past the arc. People, I think they're getting a little more desperate to sell these things. Uh, we, we see that we got the HP, so we got some uh, we got some power tools, we got some outdoor power equipment, we got the lawn furniture, the nice umbrella. I love those offset umbrellas. What a great I mean, umbrellas are great, but who wants to have that big pole right in the middle as you're trying to have a conversation? That offset, if you've got room for it, do it. Just great way to go. All right, what else can we expect to see? Grills on grills on grills. There's going to be a ton of grills. If you go by your Home Depot right now and you're someplace that's not covered in eight, ten feet of snow, there's grills all out front already, are they not? They are getting ready. They've got them in stock. And I will say this, um, the the next grill, I think, is a, if you're looking for just a basic gas grill, just to be, you're not trying to get fancy or anything else. You're not trying to go with the pellet grill. You just want to, I want to cook some burgers. I want to cook some steaks. I want to do some other stuff, maybe cook something on the side burner. That's the way to go. They're good, solid grills. Uh, 350 is what last year's price was on, a, on the four burner with the side grill. With the cabinets underneath for a little extra storage, that's nice. All right, remember, and get yourself a grill cover. It changes the game. All right, I got a grill that I've left out all winter long in Montana with a cover right in our side yard. And when we get back the May, I'm going to take that cover off. And you're going to see what I mean by putting a cover on it. That's all I did. I, I washed it, I cleaned it, I put a cover on it, sat it to the side, and it's going to be just like I left it. Maybe a few bugs crawled up in there, but it's not going to have that kind of rust and the other kind of corrosion that you see from leaving them outdoors. All right, we're going to see Traeger. Traeger, Traeger, and Traeger everywhere. I'm a Pit Boss guy. Full disclosure, Pit Boss is a friend of the channel. They've sent me grills in the past. Uh, but you know what? If you've seen the deals and stuff we find on Pit Boss, and if you guys don't know, Pit Boss is the family that, founded Traeger, sold the brand, didn't like what was going on, went and started their own company. So they know what they're doing when it comes to pellet grills. All right, moving on. What else are we going to see? We're going to see brand deals on combining outdoor power equipment. Uh, we're going to probably see it more in the 40 volt range. There'll probably be some combinations with the power tool ones. And I'm not a fan of using battery from your power tool line, from your cordless line, in your outdoor power equipment, unless you just have a really small yard and you're going to use it for really light work because all of these tools are long run time. It's not like a drill you run real quick or, you know, or, you know, in most of the, the out or the handheld power tools, even something you run for a long time, like a sander or a router, they don't run. You're running a, a, a lawnmower can run for half an hour, right? Or longer. And it's just not, it just drains batteries faster. And batteries have a limited recharge capacity. They are, they're, they're, they're a disposable item. They're, you're going to go through them. So I like to go with 40 volt. 
Uh, it's a more robust battery. It, it gets you more power and it gets the job done. It doesn't tax my other batteries that I'm going to use for my my uh, cordless power tools. All right. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the uh, the next item that we need to talk about is is how they're going to do this. And I think we're going to see a lot of the buy more, save more kind of situation. They really want to lump those in, add more value. You know, get, just add get a few more items. Get, well, you're so close to the next level. Get the next one. And for those of you looking to build out a set. This is a great way to do it. For those of you looking to add onesie, twosie kind of stuff, you're going to have to be a lot more narrow focused in trying to find those hot deals. Uh, so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because we're going to be finding you those hot deals that they're going to be kind of, you know, a little bit hidden there. Also, appliances, appliances, appliances. Like I said, there's going to be tons of appliances. And the first rule of appliance buying is do not buy Samsung. I'm sorry. I love Samsung. They have great phones. They've got great TVs. They got a lot of great tech. Their appliances are absolutely trash. I'm sorry, but they are. LG is a little bit better, but not a ton better. We're going to be working on a video. Uh, I've got some, some friends that I'm collaborating with to get a real idea of what it is out there that you probably should be putting your money into. All right, next up, we've got Lowe's. What's going to be happening at Lowe's? Well, honestly, a lot of the same stuff. They're projecting, people are telling me the 6th, I think Lowe's is going to come in a little bit early. I think we might see them in on that Tuesday rather than on that Thursday, but we'll have to wait and see. Last year, here's here's what we saw. We saw mulch, 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 more outdoor stuff. We saw some really cheesy patio kind of stuff. This year, it's going to be nicer. The The CEO of Lowe's is really gunning for Home Depot. He, he used to, he was the guy who was in second in line over at Home Depot and they, uh, they passed him by and he was TO'd. So he is out to get Home Depot. And honestly, I think he's doing a pretty good job of it. The whole getting uh, Ego away from Home Depot, merging with Shervon so they can compete toe to toe against TTI. And if you've been in a Lowe's recently, especially with some of those are the nicer ones, boy, they look nice inside. And you're seeing a lot new, more higher end kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to see similar stuff with the grills. There's the Charbroil coming in at 278. Uh, we're going to see a lot of Craftsman. Tons of Craftsman outdoor power equipment. We're going to see Ego as well. Now, what else can we expect to see there? We're at Cobalt, of course. Cobalt's the house brand there. Uh, the, you know, that's going to be kind of like, you know, how Heart Freight does a good, better, best. Well, Cobalt's going to be in that good to prosumer level with Ego at the top of the level. We'll call it professional, but it, we'll, we'll call it high-end prosumer. Uh, anyway, great. The 40-volt systems are fantastic. Now, they'll be in the 20-volt systems as well, so you can use your, your cordless tools. Again, I'm not a fan of that, but you do you. Ego, of course, is at that 56-volt level. Great tools right there, just the Cadillac of tools. And Husqvarna, you got to love the Husqvarna. We've been highlighting some Husqvarna stuff lately, but if you still like to go with gas, Husqvarna is going to be an option. Also, Greenworks. Greenworks is a great solution. Also, uh, they... I'm not really sure exactly who makes them, but I do have an idea. It looks very similar to the Cobalt stuff. In fact, we've got a new player who's going to be throwing their hat in the ring come this springtime. I can't talk about them right now, but yes, another major competitor, Shervon. I would say at the Shervon level for uh, not just outdoor power equipment, which is kind of where they made their bones, uh, but uh, moving into the cordless tools. And I've got a chance to play with them. And if you've been around the channel, you probably have a good guess as to who it is because they're they're fantastic. They really are. Of course, Craftsman stuff, as we talked about before, especially in the outdoor power equipment, they're also going to be pushing their, their RP line, which is actually really good. I just wish the battery tech would catch up with the quality of the tool. Uh, here we got Samsung. Just say no. LG, eh, better, <laughs> a little bit better. All right. And let's talk about Harbor Freight. Now, Harbor Freight's a good question on Harbor Freight because they just did a huge sale. One of the best sales we've seen from them in a long time. Har Harbor Freight, honestly, their sales, they're big like everything must go. We have to clear everything out. It's they're they're always kind of, man, there's some good, a few good items. This last one was just just killer deal after killer deal after killer deal. And then on top of that, li liquidating the uh, the clearance items, and then on top of that, and the open box, and on top of that, the Series 2 getting cleared out to make way for Series 3 U.S. General Cabinets. If you are not aware of that, you got to go back and watch my videos on it. Anyway, that said, their, their deals, they start on Monday, and they go through Thursday if you're inside track. And if you shop at Harbor Freight more than once a month, 
you got to be Harbor. You got to be Inside Track. Also, pay attention because some of the deals are so good, it's worth it to buy an Inside Track membership just to save the extra dollars, or at least just to break even. And then you already have that. Then you'll have that Inside Track for for deals after that. But anyway, everyone else kicks in Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now on this, the calendar, what would match up for this would be starting on the third. Again, I find it hard to believe that they're going to do another huge sale right after the killer sale they, they just did. But everyone's got a lot of stock, all right? People really ramped up after the pandemic because people were stuck at home. They had a lot of extra cash because they weren't going out eating and drinking and, and going to movies and parties and stuff. So they were even on big vacations. So people started to accumulate a bunch of money, decided to invest in themselves and in their house. And they started buying tools and stuff like that. And everyone's now sitting on a bunch of inventory because they scaled up to meet, meet that demand. And they also had the backlog from shipping that all finally just came in. And now they have to get rid of it because they, they don't have huge warehouses. Everyone's trying to run on just in time and they got it a little bit late and it's all just sitting there. So perhaps there will be one. I'm not expecting it to be as huge of a sale. Here's what we saw last year. We saw the U.S. General five drawer carts at $200. We just saw that. We just saw it clo or close to that. We With the Braun Light at $17, we saw a better deal than that. Pressure washer at $69, we just saw that. There's So a lot of these deals are ones that we just saw. Predator generators. Oh my gosh, did I just, I got, I got a whisper about some information about predator generators. Um, I, 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 I talked to somebody at Harbor Freight and asked them like, Hey, are you guys ever going to do the dual fuel? And what I heard was by the end of this year. Okay. That was direct from my, uh, not, not by the end of this year. If we do it, we're thinking about it. If we do it, it would be around the end of this year is what I heard. So there is some hope there. That was through official channels, by the way. All right. So anyway, what else can we look at? Well, what about Ace? Ace is the place, right? Of course, we're going to see mulch. We're going to see flowers, that kind of stuff. What else are you going to see over there? You're going to see Ego because Ego and Craftsman are the two big boys over there. Uh, I think they got some DeWalt too. You're going to see that as well. But the Ego, if you're looking for some Ego deals and you're, and you're looking to invest, those Ego riding lawnmowers are glorious. They really are. But at $5,500, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I get it. There's some people who are like, oh, I'm never going to switch from gas. But I got to tell you what, the, the mowers, if you, the push mowers, there is no reason to be on gas if you're using a push mower. There just isn't. You can love it all you want, but I, I can beat you on the math. I can beat you on the reliability, uh, on, on all of it with, with electric. I, it, it just, it's not like I'm just a fan of electric to be a fan of electric. The, the value is there. If the value is in gas, I would be in gas. All right. Now, here we go. We got Toro. If you want gas, if you're just a diehard, they got the Toros over there. They're running the big Briggs and Strattons. I don't know about you. I'm not feeling Briggs and Stratton the way that they used to be. They used to be like, if it was a Briggs and Stratton, it's a good motor. And now these days it's like, eh, maybe something cheap. I don't know if they're OEMing stuff out of China or what they're doing. If you know more about the Briggs and Stratton stuff, comment down below. I'd like to hear some insider stuff on it. I'm just not seeing the same kind of quality in, in that uh, in that line. Um, now we got also the Craftsman Outdoor Power Equipment, as we talked about. There's some Milwaukee in there. I will say this. Now, Milwaukee is one that you have to use the, the power tool, the cordless tools, batteries with. They get a lot of power out of a, an 18-volt battery. They really do. I've used that Weed Whacker. It's insane. The chainsaw, it's insane. The mowers, though, they've had to step up and do the 2x18 two by, two by that they swore will never go 40-volt. Yeah, but you kind of did. All right, and we got Traegers, more Traegers and Traegers and Traegers. Just not, I think Traegers overpriced. It's a good, it is a, it's a, it's a, it's a good grill. It is a smoker grill, whatever you want to call it, but it's just, it's just not, it's not $3,800. It's just not. Um, the, <laughs> we got some Dewalt. We're going to see BOGOs. I'm expecting to see a lot of BOGOs too. A lot of BOGOs. Invest in, buy this combo and get this for free. Buy this and get this for free. I expect we'll see a bunch of that. Yeti, if you really like your overpriced Yeti coolers or Yeti tumblers, get them. By the way, I didn't buy this one. I would never buy Yeti. There, I don't see any difference from those and, and the other stuff, the cheaper stuff, the Ozark Trail, the stuff from Harbor Freight. It's all the same as far as I can tell. Uh, I got this one sent to me and it's one of the larger ones, so I use it. And... I need to do a video on this because this top on this thing is uh, is pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, so let's keep going here. We got and the Weber grills. I like the Weber grills. Again, I feel they're a bit pricey for what you get. Uh, the people will say, well, my Weber grill lasts forever. My grills last forever as long as I take care of them. We got the green egg for those of you who really get serious into your, your Korean style smoking. Here's a deal, though, I would hope comes back, and that is the Craftsman 5-Drawer Ballberry Tool uh, Center. This is the great traditional home gamer kind of small toolbox that we'd normally see right, right now for 200 or at, at sorry, it used to be 100 bucks, worked its way up. It's now sitting at $200 usually. They're sitting there at 180 I'd like to see that, that again. Um, and let's see what else we've got here. Amazon, you can expect to see sales on Amazon. Here's the problem. It's going to be all the off brands because what Amazon does is they put out the word, say, Hey, if you, if you deeply discount the, the stuff you have, we'll put it on our, our, our front page. And that, that for any, any tool company or any, anybody on Amazon, that's a huge win for them. So all they have to do is basically lose money for a little while, have a bunch of people buy their stuff at, at cost or even less. And then that promotes them in the rankings. So you'll see a lot of the no-name tools, which means if you're looking for some one-off kind of tools for stuff, be it power tools or hand tools or whatnot, this could be a big win for you. If you're looking for the name brand stuff, probably not quite so much. There might be a few in there. I expect Bosch to be in there um, and, and maybe a little bit of DeWalt. But I, I think mostly it's going to be the off-brands. But the off-brands, they're getting better. They really are. Okay, Pit Boss, as I said, I'm a huge fan of them. They recently sent an email out saying that they're going to have some big deals coming up and stay tuned for those. So we're looking for that. But if you don't want to wait, they've got, and by the way, if you didn't know, not only do they have pellet grills, they've got combo grills that are gas and, and pellet, and then they've got the griddle. So if you're like big into the Blackstone, but you don't want to go Blackstone, they have basically the same thing, some, some great features on stuff, stuff like that. The missus has been pestering me for one. Uh, but anyway, specials, if you don't want to wait, we got some specials here. We got the Pit Boss Portable 2 two burner griddle there for 150 bucks. We got the basic, the just the, the good starter pellet grill there. It's on sale for 400. Uh, the mahogany 82 eight, or sorry, 820D3, a little step up there with a better controller on it. It's coming in at $600. We got the vertical smokers. And if you really like some flavorings, they've sent me these. And if you see my videos on cooking that I try to do, we're going to do more of that this summer. The, the, the rubs, just the, they got so many great rubs. They're fantastic. They got a lot of that stuff. The Pit Boss foil liner packs for the grease drops. Those things are great. Uh, there was something else in here. I remember looking at it and going, don't buy that one. Oh, they have upgrade kits also, by the way. If you've got one of the older ones and you want to upgrade to something newer, definitely go that. Oh, it was the Pit Boss cast iron. Get Lodge. The Lodge is, is as good, if not less expensive than that. It's made in America. Just, just get the Lodge ones. All right. Also, heat waves. You know, I'm a big fan of heat waves. I'm looking around to see if I got a set of them on my, my desk. There's usually a set of them. I think they're all in the truck. Great sunglasses. You see me wearing them here on the channel. Absolutely love the heat waves. The kids love the heat waves. They've got customer appreciation days coming Friday, 3 24 23. That, this month on the 24th. And they're going to have new designs, all sorts of new, new uh, arm designs, all sorts of cool stuff. Plus, of course, they got the, the desert sand color, the OD green, the mint 400 stuff. A lot of the stuff is in Z87. That's safety glasses rated. You can wear them to work. I absolutely love them because I can, I know the glasses I wear during the day, I can hop out, I can go shoot skeet, go at the range, work in the shop, and I don't have to change out my sunglasses because I already have them on. So, and, they're, and if they're comfortable to wear all day as sunglasses, you know they're comfortable to wear all day when you're working. And yes, for some of them, if you require them, they do have side shields like this one here. You can get side shields if your shop requires them. They snap right in there. They're like 12 bucks. All right, and Tecton. I want to talk about Tecton because Tecton's not going to have squat again. Oh, Tecton, I love you. And they're like, you don't talk about us anymore. I'm like, you don't have sales. You don't have new items. Anytime Tecton has new items, I talk about it. Here we go. 20% off ratcheting wrenches. That's been on there for like six weeks now. They're great wrenches. They really are. But after the first week of talking about them, it's like they're on sale again. They're on sale again. Tecton, you got to have more sales. You got you to throw me a bone. They got some fantastic tools. Also, they have 10% off when you sign up and you order. You buy over $100, you get free shipping. It's a great company. They're the ones who started to take a picture of your broken tool and email it or upload it. And they send you a new one. 
fantastic. They don't have lifetime warranty. They have always warrantied. They don't care. They don't care for receipt or anything else. If it has their name on it, it's warrantied. Great people. Great family-owned business. Got to give me something to talk about there. Anyway, that is our forecast for ye old spring Black Friday. It is. We're coming up. We're in mid March. We're we're in the Ides of March. It's here. It's happening. Let's get it done. We're in, we're looking at two three weeks for Spring Black Friday. So stay tuned. Make sure you've chomped that like button. Get us in that algorithm. Get us up there so we get back in your feed. And then also make sure you've you've subscribed and you ring the bell to make sure that we stay there. Anyway, thanks for all your support. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.